Happy Christmas, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, I know this year is going to be so much different than previous years, um, but I hope that some of you, all of you, I hope, can see some of your family this Christmas and are celebrating today together. I'm guessing by now you've already had your Christmas dinner or lunch um, and you're probably all slumped on the sofa, either playing a game or have gone for a walk and have now come back. Uh, maybe you're getting your... Um, supper ready uh, or maybe you're not eating supper at all do let me know what you're doing the today and how you're celebrating and who you're celebrating with so today I'm with my mom Slava and my godmother so we're keeping it very well every year is the same we've got a very small family so um but the four of us always have a wonderful time together so we are here in Felixstowe celebrating so I hope that you're all having a wonderful wonderful day and that I can lighten your day um to tonight uh, with some really good fun Christmas songs. Um, so I just wanted to also say thank you to you all for all your support this year. It's been a terrible year 2020, 2020 um, for everyone, um, especially people in hos hospitality, in the music industry like myself. Um, and having your support has kept me going, has kept Slava going as well. Um, as you all know, we've been through a lot this year, so thank you so much for all your donations towards our GoFundMe um, campaign um, to help us keep going. So I can't thank you enough for that. So let me stop talking because I can talk throughout the concert, can't I? Um, firstly, oh, I'm wearing this dress. It's by Clothing by Ginny. She made this beautiful cape and this beautiful dress for me with beautiful buttons on everything's so detailed um, and some of you who've watched the Worstead Park concert might have seen me wearing it. I thought I have to wear it for Christmas Day because it's such a beautiful dress and I'll only, I'm only going to get to wear it twice this year so um, I have to be in storage until next year. Um, so let me start with the first song. The first song I'm going to sing for you all is the beautiful The First Noel um, and yes I hope you enjoy it and that I can lift your spirits this evening.
hope you enjoyed my first song of this evening um, and do tell me what you what was your favorite present this year or are you not giving presents this year um, this year Slava and I've decided to cut down obviously um, <laughs> because uh, of this year uh, but we've decided that his coming home was more of a Christmas present than we could have ever imagined so today is a wonderful wonderful day of celebration not just because of Jesus birth but because some of us get to be with our families this year um, which means such a lot in this difficult period of time um, are you dreaming of a white Christmas that's my next question um, <laughs> obviously we don't get much snow in the UK sometimes we do um, I don't really remember many Christmases with snow um, usually it's quite mild at Christmas time in the UK but I know in America I'm sure you've got lots of snow there and in Russia with with mum in Russia hi to mum in Russia thank you so much for watching today happy Christmas to you um, do let me know if you've got snow it would be lovely to know who has snow and who hasn't and who wishes they had snow <laughs> so this next song is going to be very poignant to all of you for that question because it is the beautiful white Christmas um, all these songs tonight I'm dedicating to all of you as a thank you for your support this year um, so I haven't um, requested or dedicated them to any individuals for this concert because I wanted it to be for all of you as a huge thanks from me and Slava so this is White Christmas
you know, it's absolutely freezing in here. Um, <laughs> my, I need a tissue. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's really, really cold in here. Um, but it's okay. I'm going to carry on. Um, <laughs> um, so um, I was obviously asking you if you'd like to have a white Christmas, um, but I didn't ask you what you love about Christmas the most. Um, for me, um, when I was little, I've got lots of wonderful memories of being with my father and, and his family, my, my nana and my grandpa. Um, we had lots of exciting Christmases, um, lots of memories. Um, my favourite used to be, my dad actually made a Christmas game up called The Treasure Hunt and um, he was very good with poetry, uh, so he used to be brilliant at writing poems and riddles and whenever the family would come over, usually on a boxing day, my all my mum's family would come over and there'd be about uh, 15 of us and uh, he would do this treasure hunt that everyone has to do after lunch. Lunch was usually around two o'clock and this treasure hunt started probably around four or five and sometimes lasted many hours because they were so, his riddles were really, really difficult and he did it throughout the house. So it was in every room of every house and you had to go in teams of two um, or two or three. I think I was in, because I was a kid, like I used to be in teams with the adults. Um, and you had to find these clues and then they'd lead you to the next room. And it was so much fun. And at the end of it, you'd get a special present, like a gift, like of chocolate or something. Um, but it used to bring so much excitement um, as a kid. Uh, I used to love it so much. So I'd love to hear your stories as well. Any traditions or exciting games you used to play or still play. Um, obviously, we don't do the treasure hunt anymore because... There's only me and Slava, really. I think my mum and my godmother probably <laughs> would just like to relax on Christmas Day and not try and work out riddles. Um, but maybe one day we'll start it up again. Um, anyway, the next song um, has been requested by um, Alice and Zani. As I said, I'm not doing a request this year, but um, this year, I mean this concert. But Alice and Zani did um, want to have this. This is her favourite song. Um, and her daughter Anna wrote to me and said, would I sing this today? So um, this is for you all, but also for Alison and Anna um, Shepherd. Um, so this is the beautiful Silver Bells. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> City sidewalks, busy sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. In the air there's a feeling of Christmas. Children laughing, people passing, meeting smile after smile.
I hope you really enjoyed that one. Um, so Christmas Day is very special in our household because we all get to get be together and uh, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today for um, some light entertainment on Christmas evening. Um, I'm sure you've all watched the Queen's speech by now as well. Um, isn't she wonderful? She's still going strong at her age. I think it's marvellous. She's an inspiration to us all, I think. Um, and I'd love to be like her one day. Um, so if you did do enjoy today um, this concert and you would like to donate some Christmas virtual gift or ticket to our GoFundMe the GoFundMe link will be just here below um, thank you so much in advance um, all your donations go such such a long way and mean so much to us we can't thank you enough for your kindness um, I hope you all enjoyed, if you did watch the Worst Ed Park, I hope you all enjoyed the Worst Ed Park concert. It was for the Samaritans and children in need, so it was wonderful to be part of something that was so important to raise money for two such important charities. And it was a fantastic evening. Um, lots of people had hampers and, um, yeah, it went really well and raised lots of money for those two charities, which was fantastic. Um, and also I was involved in Carols on the Doorstep last week um, and that was amazing to be singing, well, it was very, very cold and we were singing outside the town hall in Felixstowe with the mayor and uh, I did a few solos myself for everybody uh, with the waves right in front of us and it was so windy it felt like it was minus 35. <laughs> it was freezing cold. Um, but anyway, thinking of... Um, good songs to sing uh, the next one I'm going to do is Deck the Halls so do feel free to sing along with me, join in, dance along in your living rooms with me um, and enjoy this beautiful song Deck the Halls Deck the halls with boughs of holly fa la 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 Tis the season to be jolly fa la 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 Don we now our gay apparel fa la 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 Draw the ancient yuletide carol fa la 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 is short and sweet but I hope you enjoyed it and were singing along with me um, because it's so short I wanted to go straight into the next one which is one of my favorites that I I had an interview um, on uh, BBC Suffolk and I she Leslie Dolphin sorry interviewed me and she asked me what my favorite Christmas song was and I said it was driving home for Christmas so this is my favorite Christmas song and I hope uh, you enjoy my version of it Christmas I can't wait 
song it's just so I don't know every time I hear it I just feel like I'm coming home for Christmas it's I love that song so much anyway um so let me know any of your memories of Christmas obviously I've told you one of my memories of my dad's amazing game um and then he used to get us to sing around the piano um <laughs> he'd always play the Christmas songs and he'd get me to sing with him um I've got a few uh, pictures of me as a kid singing he's sitting on the sofa with his guitar and I'm singing um he used to get me to sing in front of everyone well probably I used to make him get me to sing in front of everyone because I wanted to sing in front of everyone um so yeah that was a nice a nice memory and my mum was an amazing cook she doesn't cook anymore really I mean she does cook she like makes like this year she's done um chutneys and apple jelly from apples from our tree which is amazing very very tasty um if you've been one of the lucky recipi recipients is that the word yeah recipients um <laughs> It's very nice. Uh, she can still cook, but she doesn't cook like she used to. Um, and she used to make everything from scratch for Christmas Day. Um, and it was very uh, wonderfully tasty, I remember. I'm definitely not as good a cook as she is or was. Um, so, yeah, so let me know any... Um, and do you... What about... What do you eat? What do you prefer? Turkey or goose? Or sometimes people have a mix of other things. Some people don't even have Christmas dinner. I uh, remember we met someone a couple of years ago that said that they that year were just going to have steak for dinner. So who knows what what you <laughs> what's your favorite? Um so I've, the next one is a really fun one um from Frank Sinatra uh, called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So I'd love you if uh, to sing along with me if you can. I hope you enjoy Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> So 
bright Won't you guide my sleigh tonight Then all the reindeer left him And they shouted out with glee Yahoo! Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer You'll go down in his star you enjoyed that fun one I've always loved that song it brings back lots of memories as reading that Twas the Night Before Christmas um, book that I used to have as a kid it was really nice um, do you still do stockings as well because we still do stockings um, I think it's just because I'm a kid at heart so um, we always <laughs> we always do stockings um, uh, anyway I hope you've had an amazing Christmas day I have a few more songs left for you this evening um, but also, I just wanted to say thank you again for so much for for all your contributions to Trudy and Trev, Tuomo, Steve in America, Mike Garlic, Nick Mudd, Jane and Richard, Tessa and Austin, uh, Claudio in Italy, uh, Dorothy, Philip and Fatima, John Harvey, Terry Bryant, Amy Reeve um, and Ben and Elliot, um, uh, uh, Lucy and Yarda and Radim and Monica, uh, Martin, Jane, uh, Santo, uh, Steve, Stephen, Miguel and Assel and Enzo, James, Angela, Daphne and Rob, Julian, uh, Ron, Georgina, Alison and Graham. And there's so many more that I'd love to thank that I didn't write down. <laughs> but um, thank you so much to all of you for your support and encouragement this year. It's me meant such a lot. Um, and as you know, we do have another concert left uh, for the beginning of your 2021. It's New Year's Day concert. It shall be at seven o'clock in the evening, not like tonight, which was at six. Again, it will only it, it's based on the Vienna uh, New Year's Day concert. So it's more um, more classical, but we do have some surprises in there. One song that Slava chose, which I'd never heard of, but apparently it's really good. And it is really good. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, the next song I'm going to sing is When a Child is Born, a beautiful song, and I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> white, 
no one knows. But a child that will grow up and turn tears to laughter, hate to love, war to peace, and everyone to everyone's neighbor. And misery and suffering will be words to be forgotten forever. It's all a dream. I just love that piece. It's such a beautiful, um, relaxing piece, isn't it? I hope I haven't put you to sleep. <laughs> um, one thing I didn't talk about is what I don't like about Christmas. Um, sorry to bring the something not so happy in. No, I'm joking. Um, I don't like I don't like mince pies. I don't like Christmas pudding. I don't like Brussels sprouts. Um, I don't like. I think that's it. Slava doesn't even like Christmas dinner, do you? Really? He's not, you're not a big roast dinner fan, are you? No. So maybe because he's never had it growing up in Russia. Um, but yeah, what do you like? What do you not like about Christmas food? <laughs> would be interesting. Um, because it always they make quite a lot of jokes, don't they? Like these comedians, they say that, you know, we all eat this Christmas dinner, but actually most of us don't actually like it. Um, <laughs> But I mean, I like the turkey and the or the goose or whatever, and I like gravy and and all the vegetables. But um, yeah, I'm not not a big fan on the puddings. But anyway, um, <laughs> I probably still would have had one today. So um, <laughs> um, so the next song I want to sing. Look, we've got a few more songs to do for you before I'll leave you to the rest of your evening, um, your Christmas evening. Um, Thank you so much for letting me into your homes today um, on this special day. So this next one is a really fun one, um, named after one of my concerts that I did a couple of weeks ago, Let It Snow. So I hope, again, you can get up and dance with me, join in this wonderful song and sing along with me. But the fire is so delightful And since we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Oh, it doesn't show signs of stopping And I've brought some corn for popping And the lights are turned way down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow When we finally kiss goodnight to go out in the storm But if you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm The fire is slowly dying And my dear, we're still goodbying But as long as you love me so Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow I've shown signs of stopping some corn for popping Lights are turned away down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Let 
like that one let it snow um i um i don't know if we'll get snow but i'm sure that when we do it will be wonderful um because i'd love to build a snowman um i always loved building a snowman as a kid uh i used to get so excited when it snowed and used to make dad come up with me and build this snowman get a scarf that that we had in the attic or something and it was so much fun um the next song i'm going to sing for you is the um to do with the christmas tree um, which I'm sure that we're going to keep our Christmas tree up for a couple of more months, um, whether that's bad or not, but we will. Um, so this is the wonderful Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. I hope you can, again, get up and dance with me for this one because this is a really, really fun one. So enjoy. <laughs> Christmas tree at the Christmas party hub. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to start. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling. tree have a happy holiday everyone's dancing merrily in the new old-fashioned way dancing around your Christmas tree right now. Um, <laughs> I'm sending all my love to all of you and I'm hoping you're having a wonderful time um, with these few minutes with myself and Slava. Um, I did try and get uh, Slava to come and kiss me under the mistletoe, but um, he didn't dress for it, so <laughs> that's what he says. <laughs> maybe he'll come out, maybe he won't. No. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll keep. We'll keep singing, and we'll see if he he comes out or not. Um, so yeah. So this year has been um, a wonderful year in a sense of um, we've been able to go online, which has been amazing. Um, singing to you every week has kept us going, and I hope that we've kept you going too. You've definitely kept us going, and having you all every week uh, tune in has meant the world to us. It really has, um, and it's kept us. Um, having a motivation to keep going um, during these difficult times. Um, as you can hear, the lights are making loads of noise again. 
<laughs> Slava thought he'd fix the problem, but unfortunately uh, they're still making a noise. So we'll have to invest in new lights next year without fans so that they don't make a noise during our concerts. Um, so, yeah, so thank you so much for, for continuing to be part of our online family every Friday night. Um, and it, it was really good, isn't it, that this year that Christmas Day falls on Friday and New Year's Day falls on Friday, which was quite a bit of luck, actually. Um, but I'm hoping and praying that your 2021 and musicians and everyone who's in the entertainment industry 2021 will be a better year. Um, there are things in the pipeline that um, I'm meant to be doing, but everything is kind of, everyone's on tepi, uh, stepping on sort of eggshells at the moment, not knowing whether they can go ahead or not. So I will keep you informed. And we, we would really love to carry on doing these Friday night concerts. Maybe when things get back to normal a bit, we will cut down to maybe once a month. Um, but if you really like these concerts and would like us to keep going, which I hope you will, um, then do let us know um, any ideas what you'd like me to sing next year, whether it be a Celine Dion night or... I don't know, I can't think of anything at the moment. My mind's gone blank. Or any other musicals that you'd like me to do or whether you'd like me to do a bit of, I don't know, something else. Just give me some ideas. Um, but I love singing to you every week and it's been amazing to keep my voice going and to keep my repertoire expanding each week, which is wonderful. So thank you so much again. Um, I'm going to finish with um, two last songs for you. The first has been asked that I got a message from Anna um, uh, Slowinkowska uh, to sing this. Is that how I say her name? <laughs> Sorry, Anna, if I said that wrong. But Anna asked me to sing this um, at the last concert, but obviously I said that I'd planned to sing it for today because I didn't want to sing twice on any other songs. So this is uh, Celine Dion's version of Happy Christmas, The War Is Over. So this is Christmas and what have you done? Another year over And a new one just begun And so this is Christmas
stomach then <laughs> I don't think that Christmas dinner filled me up enough um, <laughs> um, so I'm again thank you so much everyone for watching this evening and I hope you've had an amazing day um, even if you haven't seen all your family this year which has been really sad um, we've been really sad not to see our aunties and uncles and you know Tessa and Austin um, it's sad not to see you guys this year um, but I hope that we can make up for it next year um, and all have a massive massive party um, <laughs> um, but yes thank you so much for joining me if you would like to donate a Christmas gift or virtual ticket to our GoFundMe page it is the link is just below and I think I need to go and fill my stomach with some more Christmas food um, maybe some more turkey or something um, and the last song I'm going to sing for you this evening is Jingle Bell Rock um, so again a massive thank you to all of you my heart goes to you all this Christmas um, I know it's such a different Christmas this year but uh, sending you all our love and I hope you enjoy Jingle Bell Rock Thank you so much again for watching this evening. Um, I am so privileged to be in your home. And I think we're in luck. Santa has arrived. So um, I think I've got some mistletoe here. If Santa would like to come and uh, kiss me under the mistletoe. <laughs> come on then, Santa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, Santa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, thank you again so much, everyone, for watching. Sending you all our love this Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas evening. Um, and I hope that I can see you all next week on New Year's Day at 7 o'clock um, is the 
New Year's Day concert to bring in your 2021 Viennese style. So um, do join me back on New Year's Day. Sending you all our love, happy Christmas, and um, see you on New Year's Day. Lots of love.